Ladies and gentlemen, dames y caballeros, sometimes in life, when you try to solve a problem, in the process, you end up creating more problems than you started with. Sometimes, when you try to make things better and easier, you end up triggering this series of problems in your life that I call a series of unintended consequences. When you try to solve one problem in your life, what happens is it can trigger a series of new problems that become so complex that you are unable to know how all these problems started. And one thing that I think that triggers a lot of problems is convenience. We live in a world where everybody wants things very quickly and with very little effort. People want things like two-day shipping, food delivery, and a million other convenient services. And although convenience has made our lives better in many ways, it's also made our lives worse in many ways. There are a lot of unintended consequences that we often overlook that come from convenience. So in this video, I want to show you that series of unintended consequences that come from seeking convenience in your life one by one. And by showing you this series, you can decide how much convenience you want in your life because convenience could be ruining your life. So let's begin with this series of unintended consequences from convenience. Consequence one, convenience creates new expectations. I think in our lifetime, one of the biggest impacts in the world, or at least in the United States, was in 2005 when Amazon released Amazon Prime with two-day shipping. And this completely changed the game because before this, shipping took a long time and you had to pay extra for shipping, so it didn't make much sense to buy things online. But with free shipping and fast shipping, people started to embrace this convenient online shopping, and it created this whole new set of expectations. More convenient shopping, fast delivery, no added shipping cost, and an abundance of options. It is undeniable that Amazon created this amazing shopping experience that just revolutionized the world because it was easy, it was convenient, and had an abundance of options. And when you have this superstore that literally sells everything in one location without even leaving your house, it doesn't make any sense to go shopping at the mall or spend all day driving around town looking for different products. Amazon created these expectations of easy, fast, convenient, and cheap that revolutionize the world. And if businesses wanted to stay competitive, they had to keep up with these new expectations. And so as consumers, our experience of shopping and living changed drastically because we had all these new expectations of fast, easy, convenient, and cheap. And with these new expectations, we move on to the second consequence in this series of unintended consequences. Consequence two, these new expectations created new normal behavior. When Amazon introduced this new convenience experience, it sort of opened this Pandora's box of convenience where all these businesses either evolved or new businesses were created that embrace this idea of convenience. And we started to see things like self-checkout at the grocery store, rideshare apps, grocery delivery, food delivery, dog walking apps, and of course, online shopping beginning to dominate in-person shopping. Things just became more and more convenient, where convenience was the expectation. We had this expectation of getting things fast, easy, and with little effort. And when you have that, when you have that amount of convenience, why would you seek a less convenient route in life? I mean, why would you not want convenience in your life? Why would you not embrace these new services? So with these new expectations that we had of getting things very convenient, it changed the way we behave and created this new normal behavior where packages became a daily occurrence. Food delivery fees were just part of the cost. Paying for unnecessary services like dog walking became normal. 
We got so used to these convenient services that we treated them not as extra, but as normal. We started to spend more money and we stopped viewing these new things as convenience, but we just viewed them as normal. And with these new expectations of a highly convenient life, it changed our behavior. It changed how we act. It changed how we spend our money. And with this new behavior, we move on to the third consequence in this series of unintended consequences. Consequence three, this new normal behavior made us busier. When you look around the world right now, it just seems like everyone is so busy. I mean, Jack Johnson said it well when he said, can this world not afford to sleep anymore? We're all just selling sunsets for someone else. People are so busy and people are working harder than ever. And one of the main reasons is because people need more money now than ever. When we created this new behavior where we want convenient things and convenient services in our lives, we ultimately had to make a decision. Either have less convenience in life, spend less money and work less, or have more convenience in life, spend more money and work more. Now, I know it's not that black and white, but in general, people are busier when they need more money. And when you have this normal behavior where you're constantly seeking what is easy and convenient in life, then you spend more money. And so you need more money. And then you create this unnecessary sense of busyness in your life where you're too busy to go shopping because you need to pay for the daily packages. You're too busy to pick up food because you need to pay for food delivery. You're too busy to walk the dog because you need to pay for the dog walking service. It's really this self-imposed type of busyness, but people can't see it because they see convenience not as extra, but as normal. I think that so many people have gotten so accustomed to convenience that they just see it as part of the price. When they buy something like a sandwich, they view the delivery fee as part of the price you pay in order to buy the sandwich. And so they're in this constant need to make more money. And so they're living these busier lives. And with this newfound busyness, we move on to the fourth consequence in this series of unintended consequences. Consequence four. This busyness increases your stress and anxiety. You know, sometimes I hear people talk about how busy their lives are and how this busyness has just added so much stress and anxiety in their lives. And I feel for them because, and this might sound judgmental, but they've been so socially conditioned to get car payments, get a house with more bathrooms than people, and constantly seek convenience that they're unable to see the root cause that makes them busy, that creates all this stress and anxiety in their lives, the lack of financial control. We live in this world where everyone is so busy. And think about this daily routine of this busy life where you spend hours in traffic commuting to a job you don't enjoy. Then you work long hours at a job to make money. And you use that money to pay bills and debt. And then when money opens up on the credit card, you fill it up with more debt for convenience and luxury. It's this vicious circle that has so many people trapped. I mean, is there a more stressful equation to life on the planet? We live these busy lives because we're constantly seeking convenience in luxury, thinking it's gonna make our lives better. But the irony is the busyness increases our stress and anxiety levels. If you have all these bills and all this debt from seeking this convenient life, how can you not be stressed out? How can you not be overwhelmed? How can you not be anxious? You know, this might not be as black and white as I'm explaining, but sometimes when you seek one thing in life, like convenience, you end up triggering this series of unintended consequences, one after the other after the other. And if you've just avoided the thing in the first place, 
then you wouldn't have to deal with so much complexity. We are so anxious and we are so stressed out because we are so busy and we need so much money to fund our lifestyle. And with this increase in stress and anxiety, we move on to the final consequence in this series of unintended consequences. Consequence five, this increase in stress and anxiety has ruined every avenue in your life. If you remember in the beginning of this video, I spoke about how sometimes when you try to solve a problem in your life, you end up creating all these new problems. Convenience might solve some problems in your life, but it might create more problems than when you started. I've said this quote in many of my videos because I love it, but there's a quote that goes, when you do what is easy, your life will be hard. When you do what is hard, your life will be easy. These convenient tools and services have done some incredible things to the world. I mean, elderly people can have their groceries sent to them. We don't have to spend an entire day driving around town looking for one item. And you can hire someone to help you when you're tired. But you can't just look at the pros that come from this. You also have to look at the cons and all the unintended consequences that come from this lifestyle. And the point of this video and my question to you are, are these unintended consequences worth it? What happens when we consider a $7 delivery fee normal? Or we start getting packages on our doorstep every single day? Or we start outsourcing our chores? We have tried to make life easier with these complex solutions, but I think that simple is best because when you look at all these unintended consequences that come from convenience, I don't think it's worth it. I think it just ends up ruining your life. It causes more harm than good. And I don't think that we need to make life more complex than it needs to be. And I don't think I'm not going to seek a lot of convenience in my life. And with that, Muchas gracias, que tenga un buen día. Video 93, nos vemos chicos.